He's an enormously attractive figure. Vincent de Paul, for me, is one of the greatest of, of the saints. He was just on fire with charity and with practical responses in serving the poor. When I discovered there were 3,000 letters written by St. Vincent, it was like finding a treasure. And as I read those letters, it's like reading somebody's mail for 30 years, I found a whole new person. It wasn't Vincent the teacher that I found. It was Vincent the human person who struggled. Vincent was always urging people to try to find out what is God asking me concretely today and to ask, Lord, what do you want me to do today? How do you want me to respond? How do you want me to love today? How do you want me to speak to the people whom I have to speak with? If you're to look at all of Vincent's activities as a reformer of the church of 17th century France, the mission is the reform parish by parish of the church. And you can't reform the parish without reforming the priest. It seems to me that in order to know Vincent de Paul fully, you also have to know Louise de Marillac, with whom he worked so closely for 35 years. It was her insights, it was her faith, it was her experience, together with Vincent, which combined to create this reality that we still label with this adjective Vincentian. Vincent de Paul is very much a saint for today. He's practical, he's concrete, he's effective in the service of the poor. He's very concerned that we would minister to the poor in a way that will change their lives.